Welcome back, welcome back. Um, today we have a new video um, all about a new plugin um, which is basically called Wizardry. Now, it's not really just a video about a plugin, it's a video about a whole server I have created around um, the idea of this Wizardly, Wizardly, can't even see it, Wizardry plugin. Let's just call it Wizards. <laughs> For now on, because it's bloody hard to say. Now, um, so the, the basic premise of this is that I've removed all the guns from the server it's kind of medieval primitive style weapons and stuff like crossbows and so on. But the main thing that replaces guns etc is your um, magic spells. So the way it works is you start on the server um, with uh, nothing really. Well actually in this server I spawn in, make sure you spawn in with a wand and stuff to just get you started. But basically this is how you'd do it if you didn't have one. You basically have to make a bone knife. And if you don't have to make a bone knife then Jesus, you know. And what you do is you type in make wand. So just do that in the chat. And bingo, I now have a magic wand. Now basically, this, this, the blue one here you can see is uh, just telling you that it's a magic wand. Because um, it's a special skin. So what you do is um, hit middle mouse button, hit it twice, and you can see here at the bottom left, um, I have a fire spell activated, um, mana cost 100. So if I push middle mouse again, um, I have a water spell, which is clearly obviously to put the fire out if somebody's trying to burn your house down. Um, then we have a missile spell, which is uh, about a 40 damage missile, it's nothing too crazy, but with roughly about the damage a, a normal missile would do. Um, uh, then we have um, self heal, which is um, 100 mana cost. Uh, and then we have the rejuvenate spell, which is basically uh, rejuvenate self spell. This would basically give you all your health and food and uh, so on back, water. Uh, next spell is the healing area of act of uh, AoE, basically. So if you're standing next to you or your friends, you have to be 10 meters apart, but you can control that in the settings. Um, you can heal yourself and your friends. So if you're in a firefight, tell everyone to come close. You can heal up your friends. It costs quite a lot of mana. Uh, next spell is rejuvenate all you, yourself and friends. That would give you and your friends um, basically um, all food, health, etc. And uh, not mana though. So the next thing to do um, is a smoke screen. I'm going to demonstrate all these in a second, but I just want to go through them first. So the smoke screen activated. You can see it's 250 mana cost. Uh, and you can see my mana bar in the center, or just above my um, toolbar there. Uh, at the moment you can see it's very low, that's because um, I'm going to explain to you why why it's low at the start. Because basically when you spawn in the server you have zero mana. And now uh, the next spell, um, uh, that's it, that's, that's the end of the spells. So um, basically what I would do is, if I go to choose say fireball, it costs 100. Now I don't have a 100 right now, so obviously I can't do it. So the way to actually get your um, mana is to very simply eat pumpkins. So let me just quickly eat a few pumpkins, get my mana up to a decent level. So let's keep the let's keep the wand in your hand, and then just hit you know two, three. You can see the mana's going up slowly there. Oops, I just switched the weapon. You can see it's going up there a little bit. The, bit, the blue bar's going up. Now obviously you can see there. Oops, you can see there. I'm going to need to eat quite a lot of these to get my mana up. So obviously I'm just demonstrating this for the moment. I'm going to just turn on the admin mode in a second, give me unlimited mana, so I can demonstrate the spells. Um, but you can just understand what the point of this is. So I'm um, just going to keep eating these pumpkins. You can see my mana's popping up. It'll eventually re reach a thousand. Now, once you use a spell, you can see when you hit it at the side there what the costs are. You can also see the different spells have got obvious little icons. So let's, let's start with the fireball because obviously I guess everyone wants to see this. Here's a little base, a uh, little house I built earlier on. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate the sort of damage you can do to these things. So basically, at the moment, I'll, I'll, I'll turn on the admin mode. One second. There we go, got admin mode on it, so I've now got unlimited mana. So what I can do here, I can show you how they work. So first of all, I can just show you how powerful they are. So there's a, there's a poor deer stuck here in the bush. Missile to missile, here we go, fireball, you ready for this? There we go, good night. And I set fire at that bitch, no, he's, he's running away now, he's off. So you can see there, it's, it leaves a fireball behind, it's, it's obviously designed to burn houses and so on. Um, but obviously you can damage stuff. Um, what I'll do actually, I'm not going to damage the house yet. I want to show you that first. I'll build a couple of things here very quickly and show you a little bit of the sort of damage it does. That helps if I've got some stone as well before I start the video, but hey, you know, hey ho. 
Okay, so let's just get this into stone for starters. We'll get this up to. Actually, we should probably do a little bit of metal. Demonstrate that too. Put these both up to metal. Stone over. Okay, so uh, if I put on the fireball spell. Yeah, it's there, fireball spell. Cost me a hundred mana, and I've got a thousand mana to start with. Remember, so you can understand that's probably maybe you can get like ten of those at the most. Uh, but you know, let's, I'll demonstrate. So if I stand right next to this and fire this, it'll fucking kill me. So I need to stand back. Um, let me just get let it off. Sorry, I just keep hitting the wrong buttons. There you go, fireball. I put left now. Once you've selected it with the middle mouse, you would use the left mouse button to do this. So you can see there. So let me just have a quick look and see how much damage we've done there. So it's really done very, very little. So you can see it's not a, ma a crazy viable weapon for raiding, really. Okay. Now, if I go to the rockets, though, and let's jump to the rocket. Oh, I missed it when I passed it. Missed out a spell. Okay. So I have to fire the whole world here. That's not good. Let's go around the other side. It's getting kind of dark, but uh, that's cool. We can weather this. Yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll. Uh oh, shit. I will just put a fire down for a second. Uh, one second, guys. I think I've got one in my pocket. Uh, here we do. There we go. Look at that nice lighting. Right, so let's just do a test with the missiles now. Let's uh, get the missiles. Sadly, you've got to cycle through them, but I'm sure there's probably easy ways to do this in the future. Right, okay. So if I fire from this side, that's, that's a that's a magic missile, a wizard's magic missile, not a not a rocket launcher. Okay. You can see they are 425 out of 500, done roughly 40 damage per hit. So you can see how viable this is for raiding, but you can see already the main problem. I've ran out of mana. Your mana is low wizard, you need 100 more. So, now I have to go eat more pumpkins. So, let's go into the house for a second. And what I'll demonstrate here, just for a bit of fun, just to give you an idea how this might work. The smoke screen is quite interesting. It's a little bit buggy, doesn't always work perfectly. Well, let's say you're running in your house, someone's chasing you down here with a deadly crossbow, or, or even a couple of wizards with wands trying to blow you up. Bang! Hit up the smoke. It's not going to work, is it? Oh no, I need, need mana. Of course, I'll, I'll demonstrate in a minute. Anyway, the idea, I was going to show you putting a big smoke cloud before you ran in and we will see you, but I can do that anyway. So, this is a little house I've made. Um, now, obviously you can see I'm growing my little pumpkins here just to get my uh, little self on the go. This is what, maybe how you might start out. And you can understand though, you know, you're going to need quite a lot of pumpkins. You're going to need to eat like, you know, I don't know, like a bunch of pumpkins, you know. Maybe ten. So let me just give myself some pumpkins actually. Let me dump some of this crap. I need half of this here. Right, okay, so I just need to give myself some pumpkins one second. Now in this server I've made sure that you can only carry one pumpkin at a time. So like, you can only carry like... Obviously I've stacked them because I'm admin, ignore that, you can't do that in the server. You can only carry them like that. So if you want to carry like all these, you'd have to carry like most of your inventory, maybe a crossbow uh, with pumpkins just to keep your mana up. Obviously you could take a box to a raid base and fill a raid base up full of pumpkins, which is kind of hilarious. Um, but you know, that's just the whole point of this new server, is to force a different type of gameplay, you're going to end up being a wizard. You want to blow bases up and raid people, you're raiding them for pumpkins or other things which I'm going to get to in a second. Uh, very, very cool stuff. So, uh, I'm just going to quickly pop, some, pop, this, pop this in my toolbar, and I'm just going to eat a ton of them right now, just get my mana right up. One second. The best way to do it is put the wand in your hand when you're doing this, so you can actually watch the mana bar go up. And then just hit the number 6, or whatever key you've got your uh, mud pumpkins in. You can see the mana bar clearly going up there. And you can remember the other bonus here is you're getting fed, so it's keeping you healthy and uh, full of food. And you can see in the right bar there, I'm getting tons and tons of pumpkin seeds. So pumpkin seeds obviously are the life point of this. So every time you eat a pumpkin, you're getting more seeds to grow more, to get more mana. So it's a continuous cycle that involves magic pumpkins basically. So there you go, I've got full mana now. Okay, so let me just keep those pumpkins there. So you can see what I was doing here, you know, a little base, starter base. Maybe the first thing you're going to do is you're not going to get a furnace up. I mean, you could get a furnace up, you know. I have allowed the maximum level of build to be uh, metal, so you can go above stone if you want to. Um, but at the moment, uh, we're just sticking with that. Okay, so um, now I've got my man up, I can show you a few more of these spells. Um, I think I probably need to make it daylight, give me one second till I do that. There we go, I can actually see what we're doing now. 
So um, let's go back to this. So middle mouse button to choose the spell you want. So I've cho shown you the fireball. I've shown you the rocket, which shows you how the damage works. So the water spell. So obviously, I think if I just do a fireball here, I guess it's very simple. I mean, it's pretty bloody obvious, but I'll just demonstrate anyway because it's kind of fun. So look at that. We've got some fire there now. We've got the water spell. Fire starting to burn down your base because wizards are attacking you. Bash. There you go, your base is now safe again, so basically your wand is like a defense mechanism. Now obviously I've been hurt there a little bit, I'm down to 7-8% health. So let me just quickly go up to my self heal, hit my left mouse button, bang, I've used some mana, boom, I'm up to full health again. So obviously it's cost me 100 mana, so you know, that's a balance. If you just throw all your rockets at a base and leave yourself with no mana, you may be struggling to get your health back quickly, because you can get your health back like pretty much full instantly. Uh, with this. Now if I go to the next one which is the rejuvenate self, hit my left mouse button, I can't, well, I can't demonstrate because I've got full health and everything, but if I let's say I was at half health, half food and water, it would all go up to full, you know, instantly. So that's like a self rejuvenate. Um, and then there's a heal, um, it's you and your friends, so you can heal, if you had your friend here I could heal him too. Uh, I think I've run through these already, but you get the idea. And this is a rejuvenate, which is food for everyone as well and health. Now, the last one, one thing I was going to show you a minute ago was a smoke screen. So let's imagine you're getting chased into your base, and you get to your base door, you're thinking, oh, these guys are going to wreck me. Bang, you hit up the smoke, and you get yourself a decent smoke screen, you get in your base, the boys don't know really exactly where you are, and you manage to get in safe. So that's, the, that's one, one way I thought the smoke might work. You can see there it's kind of like, looks like a unity asset. <laughs> um, but I'm not, <laughs> maybe not. Um, but you know, hey, fuck it, there you go, it is actually effective as smoke, you can't see fuck you all through that, man, where the fuck are you, shoot me in the face, bitch, you know, uh, you know, so it would work, so you can see what I'm getting at, even if, I'll, see, I'll show you from distance, let me just fly up and I'll show you how it works, you can see there, you know, that's that's a pretty decent amount of smoke, you know, you can see there, that's going to obviously help you, maybe potentially get the fuck out of dodge if you're getting chased, or maybe in a town, you could hit up a spell like this in the town, and then get the fuck out of dodge. Now there's a bit of buggy one, it's a bit buggy because there's some a limitation of how many there can be on the server at once, so you may find yourself hitting the smoke and like, you won't see it, but someone else will. But you won't know that, so you'll think it's not there, uh, you know, so it's a bit, uh, it's not that much. And it run, I've chosen it to run out in about 30 seconds, I think it is, so it doesn't last too long. Okay, so next, um, so that's basically the spells, you get the idea, fire spells, water spells, you know, a couple of missiles, so on and so forth. Uh, you understand the pumpkins theory, so you got to go around the server and get pumpkins and so on. Now let me just quickly fly over here, I want to show you something. Um, what I've also done in the server um, is made sure that you're getting custom skins and stuff. So you'll find custom skins, for there's a custom hoodie going to pop in there, bang bang, whatever, right? Now the skins you'll find are only going to be sort of medieval style fucking skins. None of this fucking modern crap, you know, it's all going to have, I've hand-picked this from the skins, just be medieval style looking skins, okay? So I'm trying to keep a sort of lore in the server. There's no guns and no rocket launchers, nothing weird like that. I mean, I, be, I suppose this is weird. You know, washing machine, but hey, you know, can't do much about that. And then, um, and then here, so here's the here's the other thing I want to talk about next. Uh, it's a very simple one. This is actually there's a full RPG system in here. It's been used before in servers. It's nothing new, but it works quite well. So at the moment, I've just let's say I'm going to do some gathering here. Let me just grab uh, an axe. Let's use this bad boy here. It's going to help some some barrels here. You see at the very bottom of the screen, you can see that I've got a level. I'm level 55 at the moment. Oh, there's a bear skin. I shit myself. That was a bear. Um, and you can see I'm just as I'm doing this, I'm going to gather, get, rank up a little bit, um, just here and there. That's a cool chair. Um, so basically, the way it works, very simple. A lot of you guys have seen this before in other servers, so I'm not going to bore you with this. But you basically type in HG, and you get yourself your little. Uh, yeah, you get yourself your little uh, XP thing, so you can choose, you get agility, strength, intelligence, you get blacksmith skills, gathering skills, I'm a max on that already. Lumberjack is for obviously when you're harvesting. You add a couple of points to that, if you had any left, you can see here I've not actually got enough na na mana points to set, I need three points to set it, it's a three point boost. And you can see there, there's a lot of things you can do, so basically it's because the server's both basically vanilla. Um, most of the stuff's kind of just straight vanilla levels, but with this obviously you can... Uh, get a damage block up, which gives you a chance to potentially not get hit so easily with a, with a, a miss, like an arrow for example. You can reduce your crafting time and stuff, you can also uh, reduce your, your you can gather your harvest rates, uh, which is pretty nice. So it means that anyone in the server just playing time in here can be, get a bit faster at gathering themselves, and that will stay, will stay on the server, you know. And I probably won't, I don't know about wiping, I might wipe it once a month. Um, I'm not sure yet. So that's just a that RPG, that's always in the background, it's just working away, you get your level along the bottom, it's pretty subtle. Um, it works quite well. So yeah. Now this is the funnest, fun, the, well, the funnest, the funnest thing I think anyway in the servers uh, that I've added.
Pretty simple thing. So most servers you normally are just gathering through all these crates and boxes and you're finding what you find, okay? Now all the things I'm holding at the moment have some attributes. So this for just that this axe here, this is one little buggy thing, you have to throw it on the ground to really when you pick it up it shows you. So at the bottom left of my screen, when I pick this up you'll see. So you see at the bottom there you're equipped an exotic stone axe, perks are fifty times gather rate, fifty times damage for players, thirty times damage for animals, five times damage for buildings, five times damage for tank and helicopter. So, uh, basically this axe here is a 50 times gather. So obviously normally on a, on a vanilla you get, what, 5 times? So if I hit this mother, I get 1,025. So this axe that I've got in my hand right here is an exotic axe. Okay, I found this in the world from my friend, none of this stuff's mine actually, my friend found it, but I'm just going to borrow it off his body for now. So I've now got this axe, which not only does 50% damage on people, it's almost an end, half or 80% on a one hit. It can also gather me uh, a huge rate, a really ridiculous rate. Um, turns the server from a vanilla server into a, you know, a 50 time server for this guy. Now, there's a lot of tweaking to be done to this stuff. I've not quite done all the stats and everything by hand yet. I've literally just done it manually quickly to get it all running. So at the moment, some of it's really silly. Um, some of it's like, give one of the one, one of my friends had a 180% dodge chance and you basically couldn't shoot him with an arrow ever. He just he just always dodged it. So even if the arrow hit him, it would just go. He dodged it. You can only kill him by like you know shooting him with a. No, the only way you could kill him was like with melee weapons, which is kind of hilarious. <laughs> so that's me got an axe there. Okay, so you can uh, you can see that's a legendary uh, exotic axe. So that's got some really good attributes. So other things I've got here. So these are some other ones. So let me just throw this in the ground. It's a little buggy. If you don't know what you've got, you have to throw it in the ground and pick it up. It doesn't work. When you pick it up in a box, it doesn't do this. But you can see their bottom left, legendary crossbow, perks, 25 times damage to players, 15 times damage to animals, 3 times damage to buildings, 3 times to tank and helicopter, obviously that's not relevant because it's a crossbow. Um, so this crossbow, so basically this is probably the best weapon you'll get in the, in the game, apart from the wizard stuff, like the fireballs etc, which obviously are mana limited. The, the crossbow here is like really your best weapon in the game as, f as far as, you know, just handmade weapons go. So, you know, you got you can put sights in, I left sights in because I thought, you know, I just, you know, just wanted to have a little bit of fun with that. If your best one's a crossbow, I left a few things like sights, I thought that was fair. Because it's a 25 times damage to animals and stuff, you know, um, I can go hunting with this thing and just wreck people, but I can also do 25% damage to people. Uh, and just, oh man, this thing just like, shots people up, you know. So this is an important thing, but what you got to remember is if I get somebody sneaks up on me right now behind this bush and shoots me in the back, they get they get the, all these legendary items off me, and they now have all the legendary items, and they can go round and harvest 50 times, or they can have a 25 times damage, whatever. So these items in the world are actually really, really valuable, because they change the way the game plays for you as an individual, or, your, or even for your clan. Your clan could have a 25 times gather hatchet. And you share it, you know, one guy that's gathered and goes, give me the good hatchet, out you go, you get yourself, you know, tons of extra wood and so on, you know. So yeah, eh, no, what have I forgotten? I want to show you a couple of other things. So, uh, he's got, I've got an exotic, uh, not exotic hammer, I don't think it is, let me see. Throw it in the ground, pick it up. There you go, exotic hammer. 60% less upgrading resources. I don't know why it says it twice, I think I've got that bugged out. So at the moment, if I was to build something, it would cost me 60% the amount that it would normally cost to build it. So if it's 100 for a, a, a foundation, it's going to cost me 60% less. So you can build like a bigger base with less resources. So combined with the axe that gives you, you know, 50 times gather, you can instantly go from like a guy in a vanilla server with a bloody wand to a guy building a giant base pretty quickly. But then again, you may not find it. You may not find it for four days. And our guy might find four things in the same day. You, know, you just don't know who's going to find what. Uh, there are multiples of these th items, but not 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 many because they're really super rare. But you know, you, there's a chance that you, two people in server could have the hammer, like the same hammer I have here, for example. It could be could be two people have this stuff, you know. Now, obviously, I've got a couple other uh, exotic items. This this one here, which is kind of ugly skin actually. Um, pick that boy up. You've got to sell an exotic salvage. Again, it's a 50 times gather rate on on rocks, etc. So it works the same way as the trees. Um, now, what have I missed here? Someone I missed. I think that's probably a lot of it. Let me make sure you're not missed anything out here. So, um, oh yeah, one, one last thing. One last thing to show you guys. Um, one second. I'm going to put it to night time again. This is a fun thing to show you at the end, guys. Uh, wait, miss one second. So I made a tower. And this tower is basically the wizard tower. I want to show you a little cool thing that I did with this. I think it might still be working already. There we go. So what I did was I took these lights. This is a giant like tower, like a Sauron. Actually, I wonder if I can put the lights on down here. Uh, one second, let me just give myself give me a 
some kind of light. Why is that not working? Uh, okay, whatever. Ah, oh, it is working, I'm just not close enough. Right, so I have to turn this one, this will help. Anyway, whatever, that was bugging out. So you can see what I've done here, it's a big cool tower you can visit. And I just took the, uh, the lights um, and put them in front of the scarecrows and created these giant shadows on the tower. Which I thought just thought would be pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Here's one I missed, this one's not working. Let me go and do a show you how this works. So you can see that. Oh, it's back on the light again. So you can just create these cool, spooky kind of shadow effects on the towers. I thought that was pretty cool. Can't imagine I'm the only person who's ever done this before, but look at that. I think that looks sick. And then, uh, yeah, just it's all round now. So if you approach this tower from down, like down here at night, you come up to it and you're like, what the fuck is this? And um, yeah, and it's actually open to the to, to everyone that wants to come in. You can just come in here. I mean, this is not locked up. This is. Uh, a place you can visit, and you can come in here, and you can, uh, this one's not turned on, let's turn this one on. Oh, there you go, I forgot about that one, I don't know, so, some of them seem to turn themselves off, it's a bit buggy, but whatever. And uh, yeah, so we've got the tower here going, and uh, I'll just show you a little bit of this just since we're here. A cool door, and this is like a cool tower, and you can hear, hear the spooky noises. Excellent. And uh, I'm not going to climb these stairs, that's kind of boring for you guys, but you can see if you just fly up to the top of the tower here. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Jesus, it's tall tower. Here we go. Let's top the tower here. <coughs> so I've just got to say a little cool place when you get up here. And um, you can get some really nice views. To the valley, unfortunately, these lights now shine around your eyeballs. But um, you get the idea. So during the sun. At night, you can, well, daytime, these lights aren't in your face, obviously. You can have a look around, you can check out the scenery, and you can see the tower. And yeah, I just thought I'd show you that. It's just a little cool thing we put on the server for people to check out. Um, now, the most important thing <laughs> I forgot to mention is this plugin was made by uh, one of the best plugin developers, Colon Blow. He's made a lot of other cool plugins before. There'll be a link in the, uh, the, the README um, how to find this plugin. This is a paid plugin, it costs $20 or $21, I think it is. So this is well worth the money. You can add this to your server. Obviously, I've handmade the server. It took me like 70 hours to handmade the server. Um, I customise it the way it is uh, with all the different loot uh, loot tables and so on. And I'll keep tweaking all the plugins to suit the style of the, the sort of lore of the server. But the most important thing is you guys are welcome to come and check it out now. Um, it's not perfect. We're still tweaking all the legendary items, or I am tweaking all the legendary items uh, to get them better than they are because they're a little bit silly just now. But uh, after the wipe at the start of next month, we're going to do a clean wipe, all the legendaries will clean and uh, when you join you'll be able to everyone start fresh and you can uh, come and start being wizards. And like I say, they, um, they've got a second video coming as well after this one, I might go put it tonight or tomorrow. The second video is basically showing you the, the levels some of uh, my clan mates have gone to to build pumpkin farms and, and also a giant wizard's castle or town. Now, I'll show you those tomorrow in a separate video, I just thought it would be better to watch in a separate video. And we'll show you some uh, wizards fighting, uh, some battles in that video, so we'll have some fighting going on in the town. Alright guys, I think that's pretty much it for now. Um, I thought you guys enjoyed the video. Um, please come and join the server anytime you like. Um, it's open to the public. And um, it's an EU server, as you can probably guess. But you are all welcome to join me. Take it easy. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.